It is a horror novel by Stephen King published in 1986. The book is set in the fictional town of Derry, Maine, and focuses on two timelines interwoven throughout the novel. The first timeline takes place in the summer of 1958, while the second occurs in 1985. The story begins in 1957 with a young boy named George Georgie Dembro being lured to a storm drain by a menacing clown who introduces himself as Pennywise, the dancing clown. Pennywise kills Georgie in a gruesome manner, setting off a series of events that will haunt the town of Derry. In the 1958 timeline, seven children who are misfits for various reasons, Bill Dembro, Ben Hanscom, Beverly Marsh, Eddie Kasprak, Richie Tozier, Mike Hanlon, and Stanley Uris, form a group called the Losers Club. Bill, Georgie's older brother, is the unofficial leader, driven by a desire to avenge his brother's death. Each kid has encountered and survived their own personal terror at the hands, or claws, of Pennywise, who can shapeshift and manipulate reality to embody their deepest fears. These children learn that it, the creature they refer to as Pennywise, awakens every 27 years to prey on the children of Derry, exploiting their fears and consuming them. Together, the losers, Club discovers a pattern to the appearances of it, and a series of murders and disappearances that plague the town throughout its history. They realize that adults seem oblivious to, or unable to remember these patterns. The losers come together throughout the summer, finding strength in their friendship and confronting the bullies that torment them, most notably Henry Bowers and his gang. As the bond between the losers strengthens, they also research Derry's dark history and begin to understand the extent of Pennywise's influence on the town. Motivated by their personal vendettas and a common goal to rid Derry of a fit, once and for all, the children embark on an expedition into the town's sewers, where they believe it has its lair. They face it in the form of a gigantic spider, which is the closest representation of its true form that their minds can perceive, and they manage to wound it severely through sheer force of will and their unyielding belief in the power of their unity. Believing they have defeated it, they make a blood oath to return to Derry if it ever comes back. The second timeline, in 1985, follows the grown-up losers who have moved away from Derry and forgotten their childhood experiences, including the battle with it. Mike Hanlon, the only one to stay in Derry, becomes the town librarian and remembers everything. When he notices signs that a toilet, it has returned, he calls the others back to fulfill their oath. The losers, now successful adults with little memory of their childhood trauma, feel compelled to return, although they are apprehensive and uncertain why they must do so. Bill is now a famous horror novelist. Beverly is a fashion designer in an abusive marriage. Ben is a successful architect. Eddie runs a limousine company. Richie is a popular DJ, and Stan is a well-off accountant. As each receives Mike's call, their memories of Derry, the Losers Club, and their battle against us core, it start to resurface, bringing back old fears and the strong bond they shared. Stan, unable to face the horror again, tragically takes his own life, leaving the remaining six to converge in Derry. Encounters with Pennywise and the resurfacing of traumatic memories push each character to confront their childhood and the scars left by it. Henry Bowers, who was driven insane and institutionalized for murders it committed, is compelled by Pennywise to escape and hunt down the losers in an effort to kill them. The Losers Club, weakened by adulthood and their fragmented recollections, seeks to rediscover the strength and purity of their bond as children in order to defeat it once and for all. They explore the town, rekindling their friendship and uncovering the layers of its presence even realizing that Derry itself is an extension of it. In preparation for the final confrontation, Bill acquires the ritual of Chud, an ancient psychic battle of wills he believes can defeat it. The group descends into the sewers again, encountering it in a monstrous form that they must now face as adults. Through horrifying trials and the loss of Eddie, who sacrifices himself to save the others, they confront it at its most vulnerable, in its lair. During the final battle, Bill, Ben, and Richie engage it in the ritual of Chud. With the help of the other's energy and belief, as well as a vision of the ancient turtle, a cosmic being that opposes it and assisted the losers in their childhood showdown, they are able to confront and exploit its fear of them. 
Despite the psychological and physical toll, they manage to destroy its physical form and ensure that it will no longer awaken to feed on the children of Derry. With the death of it, an apocalyptic storm engulfs Derry, destroying much of the town as if it were a physical manifestation of its death throes. The Losers Club, now only five members, returns above ground to find the town changed and partially in ruins. The ordeal is over, but the toll on the town and the friendships forged in the fire of their shared nightmare are immense. As the losers leave Derry, their memories of it and their adventures as children begin to fade once more, signifying the end of the influence it had over their lives and the town. They part ways, returning to their lives with the hope that the horror they faced is gone for good. Bill finds one last token of their victory, a paper boat made by Georgie, and rides his old childhood bike with his wife, revitalizing her from a catatonic state induced by an encounter with it, hinting at the return to innocence and the healing power of belief and love. Stephen King's It is an epic tale that weaves horror and psychological terror with the poignant narrative of childhood, friendship, and the enduring battle between good and evil. Through the horror of a shape-shifting entity preying on a small town, the novel touches on themes of trauma, memory, and the power of united faith in facing the darkest fears. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.